Hey guys, it's FantaFans47 here with another update to my camera collection. Now, as you may know, last year for my 15,000 subscriber special, I did a showcase of my entire camera collection as of April 2019. And this is just going to be an update to that video because these are some cameras that I've gotten after I took that video. So yeah, these are some I haven't showed you, which is why I'm making this video today. So yeah, let's get right to it. We'll start over here on the farthest left with this Argus DC1730 digital camera. This thing is really crappy, but I found it at Savers really cheap, so I guess it's no big deal. And we'll go ahead and turn it on quickly. It's got a really tiny screen. Yeah, you can see this thing is very, very low res. So I don't even take videos. Um, but yeah, there you go. And this is one of my only cameras with a fixed lens, by the way. Next up is this Fujifilm FinePix A205. This one is 2 megapixels. And you can see it's quite thick, as you can see, because it's rather old. I also found this one at Savers for a very low price. Go ahead and turn it on here. By the way, all the cameras I have laid out here are working. So yeah, there you go. This one works just fine. It takes photos at 2 megapixels, like I said, and it records video at 320 by 240 for a maximum of 20 seconds. I like those retracting lenses. <laughs> and we have a couple of Kodaks next. The first of the two is my Kodak Easy Share C310. This one also has a fixed lens, as you can see. And, um,. It turns out that YouTube user Vintage Fans and More, I'll put his channel link in the description, he had this camera as his first ever digital camera. So that's really cool. Thank you for that fact. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on here. Just to show that it does work. It doesn't beep or anything. There you go. It's 4 megapixels and it records video without sound at 320 by 240 resolution. So yeah, there you go. This power switch can be a bit finicky. It's a bit stiff. And the last Kodak is my Easy Share CX7530. You can tell right off the bat this thing is a newer model because it's got a lot more bells and whistles. It even has a bigger screen. So yeah, I'll go ahead and turn it on here. And the lens comes out. It's got a cool chime. And you can see this one also works completely fine. This one is 5 megapixels and it records video at 640 by 480 resolution, also known as VGA. And the lens goes in and it's got an automatic cover. And next up, this is probably the camera that I've underpaid the most for. This is a Sony CyberShot DSC W360 with optical steady shot. I only paid 4 bucks for this thing at a yard sale, believe it or not. And this thing is amazing, especially for the price that I paid for it. I feel like I underpaid for it. So we'll go ahead and turn it on here. You can see it works. It's got a huge screen. It is 14.1 megapixel stills and it records video at seven, uh, 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second. So yeah, that's a nice camera. And next up I have this Konica Minolta Dimage X60 digital camera. Now this one's interesting because it has a flush mounted lead. It, bleh, sorry, I can't speak today. It has a flush mounted lens, but it also has optical zoom. Go ahead and turn it on here. It turns on when you release the when you release the uh, the shutter cover or the lens cover, lens cap. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Now I'll show you. It does have optical zoom. See if you look closely, you can see the lens moving and you can hear it, the servo as well. But yeah, this one takes, uh, I think it's 5 megapixels. Let me see, does it say? Um, I don't know. But it takes 5 megapixel photos, I believe, and the video resolution is 320 by 240, 30 frames per second. And it's got a nice little shutdown chime as well. And last but not least is my Canon PowerShot G2. This thing is very large and this thing obviously came from a smoker's home because this thing smells like cigarette smoke big time. I found this one at Savers. 
So yeah, and I gotta say, it's way ahead of its time. You can see it's got a, uh, a hot shoe, it's got a little display on the top, it's got tons of bells and whistles. It's got a manual lens cap though. So yeah, and right, we'll go ahead and turn it on here. This one's also got a cool chime. And you can see it works completely fine, except if you look very closely in the middle there, you can see there is a scratch on the sensor. I have not been able to fix that. So, that's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, it is a pretty nifty camera. It takes, um, I believe it's 4 megapixel stills. Yeah, it's 4 megapixel stills. And it records video at 320 by 240 at um, 15 frames per second, I believe. And the maximum recording time is only 30 seconds. So yeah, not much recording time you can get for this camera. But it's a picture camera, so what do you expect? There goes the lens. We'll go ahead and put the cover back on. Oh, accidentally hit the camera. Yeah, this thing's kind of... This is kind of hard to do with one hand, so just bear with me. There we go. And so, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this camera collection update video. Thank you for watching.